All right, welcome back everyone. Today we're gonna to talk about something called estimating. As we start multiplying larger numbers, like two or three digit numbers by two or three digit numbers, it's a good idea to do some estimating. So we're gonna build upon that multiples of 10 that we did the other day. And we're gonna use that in the future here. But before we do that stuff, we should learn how to estimate so we can get an about answer. So we know where our answers are close. And so, the point is sometimes you don't need an exact answer to solve a problem. I mean, you could, but sometimes if you just get a close answer, you, that's all you need. And so it saves you some time. So here's a little picture here. They're saying we raised $500. For sure we have enough money to buy 12 jerseys for the team. And I don't know if you could see that each jersey costs $35. Well, how do you know the students have enough money? There are some different ways to estimate products. Remember, product is the answer when you multiply, okay? Well, let's think about the problem and the factors. And factors, um, let's just stop here and break this down because let's say three times three is nine. I hope you remember from the first lesson in this unit, nine is the product and the two um, that we're multiplying here are called factors. So we're gonna think about the problem and the factors. We're gonna choose a strategy. And the first one we're gonna do is using something called compatible numbers. And compatible numbers are close to the actual numbers and they're easier to work with. Multiples of 10, 100, 1000, etc. are easier to work with. So they're a good um, starting point for some compatible numbers. Here's a problem. Each bus can seat 48 students. Well, about how many students can travel on eight buses? Well, we're gonna estimate 48 times eight. I don't want to find the exact answer. I'm just trying to find an about answer. So if we think in multiples of 10 and 100, which one is closest to? Well, 48 is pretty close to 50. Um, so 50 times eight is 400. Or if we look the other way, eight is close to 10. So we could do 48 times 10, which is 480. Or we could do it for both, 50, for, change that 48 into a 50, and then eight into a 10, and we get 50 times 10 is 500. And so we can say about 500, 400, doesn't matter, about 400 students can travel on eight buses. And here's a little note, this little handy bus here is giving us a note. So since 50 is greater than 48, and 10 is greater than eight, all the estimates that you, we would come up with using these compatible numbers are greater than the exact answer. It's because when you make a factor with a greater number, the estimate is greater than the exact product. And we call this an overestimate. During the summer vacation, Jennifer delivers 215 flyers each day. She delivers flyers for one week. About how many flyers does Jennifer deliver? Well, we can estimate 215 times seven. That's the exact answer. Please, I hope you know that one week is seven days. Um, so, we're gonna go, let's say we change that 200, that 215 into a 200. We're going, we're going down to the nearest 100. And 200 times seven is 1,400, which we learned yesterday. So Jennifer delivers about 1,400. And well, the point of, I'm showing this problem because since 200 is less than 215, I know that 1,400 is an underestimate than the exact answer. Well, we can also use compatible numbers in something called compensation. And a large, let's say a large jug fills 38 glasses of water and there's 52 jugs. Well, how, about how many glasses can be filled? And so in the exact answer, we could find that by multiplying 38 times 52. But if we use some, some compatible numbers in something called compensation, we can change, let's say the 38 to a 40 and that 50 to a, that 52 to a 50, and we get about 2,000 glasses of water. And we're calling this compensation because with the 38, we're going up to 40, and with the 52, we're going down to 50. I don't know if you remember from the first unit uh, in my video series for grade five, but compensation is when you go up one way and go down the next way. And if we had another factor, we would go up again. I'm gonna get you to try one. Jimmy sells hot dogs. He sold 418 hot dogs last month. About how many hot dogs did he sell? I get you to pause this and come back when you're ready. All right, so we have 418, um, and we're gonna multiply this in for the exact answer times 30, 30 days in a month, okay? Um, 30 is actually a pretty easy number to work with right away, but we should probably change this 418, how about to 400 would be an easier 
number to go with and we're going to multiply that by 30 and if you remember from the last lesson we multiply the first two numbers 4 times 3 is 12 and we add how many zeros 1 2 3 so he sold about 12,000 hot dogs last month all right another way we can use um, estimating is use something called front end rounding and that's just using the front digit of each factor so Let's hear a story. There'll be six performances of the school play. Freddie estimates that there's about 240 people will come to each performance. About how many people will come to the play? Remember, there's six performances times 240 people. And we're going to change that 240 to a 200. So six times two is 12. We have the two zeros. About 1,200 people will come to the play. And please remember this is an underestimate because we lowered the 240 to 200. Well, Freddie wants to estimate how many programs to print for the play. Well, if he uses the estimate 1,200, he will not have enough programs because when we do something called front end rounding, it always gives us an underestimate. And to improve the estimate, we're gonna use a compatible number greater than 240. Let's say we try 250. Well, Freddie knows that four times 25 is 100. So what he's doing here is he's taking that six and he's breaking it into four and a two. And he's gonna multiply these by 25. So he knows four times 25 is 100. And we know that from money, like four quarters is 25 cents, you know, is equals a dollar. And he knows, oops, and he knows that this two times 25 is 50, right? So, if we add those two together right here, he can say that, well, I need 1,500 programs to make sure he has enough. I'm gonna get you to try one. The students of Marjok Elementary are putting on a play called Oliver Twist. They wanna sell 2,000 tickets to the play. They hope to sell 425 tickets each day. The students sell tickets for five days. Do you think they will sell enough tickets? I'm gonna get you to pause that there and resume when you're ready. Okay, so the, to get the exact answer, we're doing 425 times 5, okay? Well, mm, let's change this 425. Um, we're going to use front and rounding, so we'll change this to a 400 times 5. And 4 times 5 is 20. And the two zeros, and we get 2,000. Do you think they will sell enough tickets? Well, if they do manage to sell 425 a day, yeah, they would make exactly that 2,000 tickets to the play. All right, there you have it. There's some examples of how to use estimating to find an about answer when we multiply. So please remember, in life, math happens. Take care.